Hello, today we're playing a Super Metroid a ROM hack. I am super excited to be playing this. Okay, let's see what you got for me. Uh, what the hell was that? Metaquarius? Oh, it looks like, uh, Ridley, right? Is he, uh, like, petrified or fossilized or something? Uh, Metroid question, hmm. Oh, that's kind of cool. I wonder if that's original art, uh, that was created. Uh, Super Metro- uh, we're playing Super Metroid Z Factor, apparently. Um, okay, let's go ahead and hit start. Uh, Samus A is the best Samus. Uh, controller setting, um, shot Y, jump B is what I normally do. Uh, okay, start game, guess, um, I'm guessing that there's not gonna be anything else in the other, um, in the other controller setting menu thingy. Uh, Super Metroid, uh, okay. Okay, I thought that was going to be, like, the story of the hack, but it's just, uh, some credits. But, uh, I didn't, I assumed that there, it wasn't going to be any, um, uh, I think in the other one it lets you, or in reg regular Super Metroid, it lets you, um, uh, put on, like, Moonwalk mode, which I never used. Was there ever, like, an actual purpose for that? Okay, right off the bat, uh, we can't progress. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, I wonder if I can, huh, no. I didn't think so. Just gotta, just gotta check it out. Uh, Super Metroid is one of my favorite, uh, 16-bit games. Actually, it's one of my favorite games altogether. I've played, it's... I don't know, I've beaten the original Super Metroid probably... more than 30 times. Like, I've played it, like, several times. Uh, rut row. Huh. Uh, I, I did play, uh, Project Base. And uh, I enjoyed the hell out of that game. Uh, my only complaint, or the only thing, it's not really a complaint, the thing I didn't like about, the one thing I didn't like about it, uh, I mean, I liked pretty much everything in it, is that the difficulty was, um, it was significantly toned down. Like, things, things that were hidden were in, like, places where it was easier to find. Like, um, okay, speaking of easy to find, wait... Why the hell? <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be one of those games. We're off to a great start. How the hell did I not see that? Did I go up here already? Oh man, I have no idea where anything is. I'm not gonna spend too much time, like, I'm not gonna be, like, shooting every wall and bombing every, uh, floor and stuff, but... If something looks suspicious, I'll get- I'll try it, I suppose. Okay, boy, it took us, what, three minutes to get off the first screen? Good golly. Yeah, I totally spaced, I just didn't see it. Okay, so that's just a shortcut to get over there. Oh man, it threw me off because uh, usually the first door you go to is to the left. And it was red, and I was like, whoa, it can't be red. I haven't gone into any rooms yet to get missiles. Oh man, this place looks pretty red. Um, okay, we're going down. This game is kind of dark. Actually, hold on to your sack. Uh, this thingy on the left looked to be a different color. Um... I'm not sure if there's going to be several of them like that, but yeah, I don't know. It just looked like a different color. Is that... Is this game going to be, like, the opposite? Are secrets going to be, like, harder to find, I wonder? Um... Okay, I'm guessing those are just part of the background. Oh, man. If they actually come out and start attacking me, I'll be a little bit creeped out, because there's so many of them. <laughs> um... Okay, so I think we're at that early part where, like, the enemies aren't activated yet. I mean, they, just because they did it in Super Metro doesn't mean they have to follow that same rule, I suppose. Oh, man. But, um, but yeah, the bosses were significantly easier. Uh, things that were hidden in rooms were just handed out to you freely. Like, they wouldn't even hide them. And I was kind of like, kind of wish it wasn't, uh, like that. Because, presu like, presumably, if you played, um... Oh, wall jumping is the same as Super Metroid. Alright, cool. Yeah, the wall jumping in, uh, Project Base was a little bit different. Oh, wait, I can't even go down there, I forgot. But, uh, if you're playing a ROM hack then presumably you've played the original Super Metroid, and then if you played the original Super Metroid, that means you're at least good enough at the game to beat it, so then why do they have to dumb down the difficulty, man? Um, am I going to get something that's going to let me destroy these, and then once I blow them all up, the way opens? Let me just take a... Okay. Yeah, this first episode is just going to be, be me looking around and stuff. Okay, there was a secret in this room last time. Aha, there is. I can't roll down there yet, though. Alright, I'll just have to keep that in mind. 
But this long uh, room had a secret in it in Super Metroid. I actually don't even know if we're on Planet Zebus. I don't even know like where we're at or like what our mission is. It also didn't tell us which Metroid game it is, so I don't even know where in the storyline or the timeline this is. Okay, um, boy. Those eyes look like it could be, like, laser turrets that'll, like, shoot at me from the background or something, but I haven't done anything so far. Man, I do like the look of this. It is, it is really dark. I'm not sure if it'll be dark, if, like, the entire game will be dark, or if it's just a temporary thing. Okay. Boy, the, uh, the doors look pretty cool, too. Nice, uh, added detail to the, uh, the metal part of the doors. Oh, yes, home sweet home. Okay, still can't go down there. So uh, I'm excited to see how this game is going to be different from not only Super Metroid, but also Project Base. Okay, could probably go up there. Uh, it would be, as much as I enjoyed the other one, I think I would have enjoyed it even more. I'm talking about Project Base. Uh, I did enjoy it, but I would have enjoyed it more if it would have been more challenging. Which is saying something, because I really enjoyed it a lot, actually. Um, okay, I'm guessing we're going to do some stuff in this area. All right. For now, we're still on. Uh, we're still on the one path. Maybe the game will be harder, but they're still gonna like slowly. Um, uh, what's the phrase? I forget. Oh dang, that's pretty cool. Oh, wait, isn't this how it looked in? Um, I forget which. Wasn't there one of the Metroid games? Might have been a handheld one. Yeah, I guess it would have had to have been. Uh, where? Oh man, is that the? Did I set off the alarm? Like, they know we're here now. Dun, dun, dun. Where, uh, where they held out the things like that. Hmm, I don't know. It just looked familiar. Hmm. I did forget what I was saying a minute ago, though. As is tradition. Um. Okay, so all these statues are turned on, too. Uh, is the game... Gonna assume this would actually be really fun. Oh wait. Oh, I thought this was a solid wall. Okay. <laughs> I can just go this way. Alright. I was about to say it would be nice if this game like assumed that you were good and was like harder than the original. Oh, that would be so fun. I've played the original one so much that I'm just you know, I you know, like it would be it would be fun to um to have it be challenging again. Um, I'm not sure if this is the way I'm supposed to go, but it, it was just the first option available, so let's just go this way for now. Alright, missile. Glad I did that, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the only missile I have access to right now. So, getting that first one is actually pretty important. Okay, still, uh, still nothing trying to kill me. That might not be until we exit this first area. Um... I might be able to fudge my way up here. I don't know. It, it kind of seems like you can go up here, doesn't it? Or like up there. That one doesn't have any ceiling. Same with that. I mean, I don't know. I know it doesn't show it. Uh, it doesn't show it on the map. It shows a line, but sometimes those are uh, those are false. Ooh, now the power's turned on. Uh, now this door is powered up or turned on or whatever. Are the metal doors made of something different when they're grayed out? Or does that mean they're not receiving power? I don't know. I sort of thought that it meant that they were, uh, like, made of metal or something. I guess that wouldn't make sense, though. Because the blue part is, it's not actually a door. It's like a blast shield. It's like a shield or something, right? Okay, so now we can go to places. Okay, they did 15 damage, and they die in one hit. So they're essentially, like, the same as the, um, the starter pirates in, um, Super Metroid. Oh, they can shoot. Can they shoot through the walls in Super Metroid, actually? I don't remember. Like, what? How do you not know that? You call yourself a Super Metroid fan. Okay, I'm sorry. Jeez. Okay, I'm hoping that I'm not going to have to spend too much time bombing stuff. That's always something. Uh, I'm also, in case you haven't, um, in case you're like new or whatever, um, I, I'm a Let's Player and I also watch a lot of Let's Plays. I've watched several Let's Plays of this, like probably eight. Um, this is one of my favorite games, so I've watched more Let's Plays of this than the average game. But, uh, oh, can't go in here. That is that is one thing that um, I've seen people do to various degrees. Some people just are just, they're so exploratory that it's like, dude, 
You gotta, like, you gotta keep it, keep it moving. Come on, man. You know, like, jeez. I mean, I don't mind you checking for stuff every now and then, but... Like, the beginning of the game is not the time to, like, bomb every single wall every time you enter a room. Uh, let's just open this door. Oh, man, this is kind of cool. Oh, man. Yeah, I am, I'm loving this. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll get the bombs here because they're putting the, uh, the thingies right there. Okay, is this going to be the, the statue room, or is this going to be a real, uh, like, a power-up? Because that room looks pretty much copied from the, uh, from Super Metroid. Hmm. Uh, oh man, we are in a different place. Ooh, there's, uh, what the hell is that? Kind of looks like something that would maybe hold, um, a power-up, but maybe not necessarily. I uh, don't have enough missiles to kill him. Oh, dang, don't do that. Uh, I thought maybe I could roll through the wall? I don't know. Okay, we gotta come back later. Maybe you need, maybe you need a power bomb to blow open that uh, big rock. The fact that this had a room, like a horizontal room, lead, like an empty horizontal room leading to it, made me think there'd be a, a power up there. That actually, in the original Metroid, that was something that was really cool. How they had that one, that one room and it played that one music. So it made you go through the room, and you knew that you were about to get something. But the, the room, I mean, the room was slightly different, possibly to differentiate, um what the power-up would be, you know? Some of them are blue, some are white, and the enemies are different. But uh, you always knew you were about to get something. So it just built that uh, that anticipation for uh, several seconds. That was really cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure that normally by the time you see those enemies, you have like an energy tank or two. So uh, it's kind of assuming that you have more energy so the enemies start doing more damage when the game thinks you have more life. Um, is there anything... Pretty sure there was nothing over to the right. So let's ju let's just go up. Okay, so the game right here, the game is like checking to make sure that you have the 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 ball thing because I'm pretty sure you can't get from here up here. So this is actually like a one way to make sure you got the morph ball. Oh damn it! I'm pretty sure I could. Yeah, I can get up there. So they still left some some um leeway for people to uh, to do skips or whatever. I mean, I don't know if that would be an actual skip opportunity, but but uh, they blocked you, but then you could still bypass it, which is something they did a lot in um, in Super Metroid, which was part of the reason why uh, it became so popular with speedrunners. Okay, nice. We got uh, got some energy is 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 back. Okay. Oh my gosh, dude, you're embarrassing me in front of the internet. Um, this looks suspicious. It's the only one of these. Oh, dang. How am I going to remember to go back there? It'll be nice if I got the bombs pretty soon. So I can start checking all these places, man. I still want to bomb that, um, that stone slab looking jam, too. Okay. Oh, dang it. Come on, man. Our dude's going to spawn out of, out of that thing on the ground. Oh, no. Leave me alone. I do not consent. Um, okay, so now I have to remember another place we can go. Wait, did I go to the right from that? Okay, I think I did. The, the power was off. Uh, that one room at the top of the bomb escape route or whatever. You know, these are only one block apart from each other. Maybe I could get up here. Oh man, I need more than two tiles to jump to... I mean, you can get, you can do it with just two, but you need like, you need like more room. Okay, yeah, they don't want you going up there anyway. They have it, uh, they have it blocked. Um, okay, so we can go to the door to the left now. Let's also uh, hit up, hit up a save since we're below half health. I'm assuming it will heal you. Why wouldn't it? All right, cool. Uh, no save sound effect. Oh, may oh, you know what? Maybe I should be playing this on Z, um, not ZSNES, the other one. Because I'm pretty sure that Project Base had, like, sound channels that, like, were missing because I was playing it on ZSNES. Or maybe just this doesn't have a sound, um, effect for that. Who knows? Okay, so now we're in the, the other first door. The door that I'm used to thinking of as the first door. Oh, man. I'm even liking this layout, like left and then down and then right in the same room. Okay, 
here. Because I think a lot of the rooms in Super Metroid, you only go in, like, one direction. Uh, but, like, per room or whatever. Wait, what is up with these? Um, it seems like maybe these are made out of, like, some mineral that could be destroyed by something. Uh, that's what they started doing in Super Metroid. They'd be like, oh, this, this rock is made out of this. And then you eventually learn that it's basically code word for use a bomb, use a missile, use a super missile, you know? But they're trying to make, make it make sense in the game by just saying that it's a different material. Uh, okay, I'm, I could probably use a single missile on those guys. Uh, I do want to check over here, though. Oh, it's one of those things, if I would have if I would have gone right, I would have wanted to check to the left. I mean, I want to check both ways, but since I'm already here, I'm not going to go back again. Oh, wait, sweet missiles. All right, cute. Oh, man, I feel naked without my bombs, man. Getting some bombs would be nice. I can start bombing all this suspicious stuff instead of having to put it in my memory bank and hope it lasts. Okay. Okay, left or down. Oops, don't do that, please. Okay, uh, one way. Uh, blue one way, so we will possibly be able to go through there later. Okay. I'm also not going to be chasing missiles all the time, but we just have a low number. Uh, I guess that's another play style. Where you just chase after every missile and energy, like, no matter what. You're rocking, like, 210 missiles. And you're down to 209. And you see a missile, you gotta, like, go out of your way to go get it. Like, dude, trust me, you're fine. Holy nuts, those dudes take 20 energy, by the way. Um... The bad news is that I don't, I can't think of anywhere else we can go. We need like another power up, I thought. Um, unless you could just shoot it. Hmm. Is there, the map is showing uh, a thing down here. Can I just shoot this, I wonder? Okay, so it's it's showing that there's an elevator of some kind. Yeah, okay, so you just had to shoot it with your gun. Okay, so the map was actually kind of helping, helping you by showing you uh, this path down here. I'm assuming this is where I need to go. Oh, I could probably shoot it. I was about to say... Okay, yeah, you just gotta shoot him with... You gotta shoot him with your gun. Usually you use bombs uh, for these, but you can also use the beam. That's actually cool how they're making you uh, use it horizontally. I think all of them... Were all of them in Super Metroid Vertical? I think they were. Okay, the bad news is that I'm low on uh, missiles and only 50 energy. So if this thing attacks me, we could have a fight on our hands. Uh, I think it's going to attack me. Okay, the good news is that hopefully and if it does the same thing... Well, if, I'm, if I die, I'm going to be not happy. <laughs> Be like, oh, look at that, you got your wish. You wished for more difficulty. Now you're eating your fucking words. Are your words delicious? Get away! Oh, man, we gotta shoot some jams, man. I didn't shoot enough thingies last time. Oh, there we go. Give me that. Okay, we should be good. Okay, he doesn't seem to have more life than he did originally either. All right, piece of cake. Oh, man, I was a little bit nervous for a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, boy, I'm... I'm eating my words this quickly. Boy, that didn't take long. Okay, so now we got the bams. That's a goot. I'm sure they're going to want us to use them right away. Okay, uh, are we going to get an energy tank in the near future? That would be Nash. Or is this game, like, super hard? It only gives you, like, six energy tanks. Like in regular Metroid. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I would actually really like a challenge, like, if, if this game ends up being, like, challenging. Because uh, cause I played Super Metroid so much, I just, like, want to challenge. I, I, like, I would want to, you know, I would be excited to play a game that, like, makes the super, that makes Super Metroid, like, challenging again, you know? Like, I could beat Super Metroid, like, so easily that I'm just like, give me a challenge, man. It'd be so much fun if this could be challenging again. Uh, was there anything here? Huh. You know. Okay, so they take three missiles. I'm at full health, so I'll just... Ah. Oh, jeez. 
Okay, I should be able to go like this and like see what it needs. Okay, power bomb. All right. Oh wait, hold on. I don't know, man. I'm suspicious about this left wall. Uh. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go. Okay, so we got the bomb. So now, where um, there was that one place that had the one rock that looked different. And I guess we don't have that many options of places we can go to yet. Okay, let me just check, check in the map. Oh, we go up and to the right from up here, or this uh, this room right here. I don't remember what uh, what was blocking me from proceeding up here. Oh, just uh, just an actual wall. Okay, actually, you know, I might be able to get up there. Okay, let me just kill these guys and be careful. I don't even have the charge uh, beam, so I'm gonna be super careful. Ugh. Okay, let me. Hum. That. M oh man, I don't know. I'm not sure. This looks like they use like one and a half tiles or something. Usually you can tell like right away if you can make it or not. But they put that extra little bit right there. Just for um, for people that are good at wall jumping, just to make sure that they can't that even they can't do it. But would it be nuts if they made a game and they like tried they like went out of their way to make it secret uh, sequence break proof? Um I guess that would make it less fun. Oh, dang, dude. I don't remember where the places were that we can go to. I'm already not remembering, like, what the rooms looked like. Oh, okay. It was the, the diagonal room was the place that had that, um, that one single, uh, brick that looked suspicious. Gosh, dang, dude. So let's, uh, go check that out. Oh, man, we're also getting... Up there on time. I don't mind making this one a little bit longer since it's the first first episode. Also need to start killing some dudes uh, for some life. Also, let's just use missiles so I can. Well, not on you. Just cause, okay. Just so I don't have to worry about hitting dudes multiple times when you're low on life. All right, we get again. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was this room, right? Oh jeez, don't run into the uh, the little um. What are they called? Zoomers? Yeah, this guy right here. Aha, okay, cool. Oh man, we can speed burn it through there. Actually, while we're right here, let's check this other uh, brick. Maybe I can break it with something else. But let me just see if bombs work. Aha, power bombs, okay. Okay, by the time I get the power bombs, there's gonna be like 15 places I need to go back and check. Which I guess, um... That's just the way it goes when you play a game for the first time. Oh, I feel like I can get up there, man. I'm not going to try for too long, but I do want to try a couple of times. Oh my gosh, I can't even hit the wall. Oh, you can get up there. Oh, you just got to do it twice in a row, man. Oh, dang it. Come on, man. Samus, you fool. Oh, come on, man. Dude, if you miss, you can't even re-grab the, the same wall again. Alright, that's that's enough. Let's just go. Um, Oh, hello. You are the farmy dude. I sort of thought that those looked like Metroids uh, when I first played the game. Well, that's got to be a shitty life for that creature. You're just, like, stuck in one spot, and all you do is create more of your own kind. And you can't move or defend yourself. <laughs> You just gotta stand there and get shot and have people use you as a platform like a freaking asshole. Ooh, what's up? Yeah, I wanna know what's up. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Everything is like... Everything is like new and intriguing again. Like the... Like the sense of... The sense of like wanting to know what something is or where something is. Is like rekindled. That's part of the reason I like these, uh, these hacks and stuff so much. Because, I mean, I still like playing Super Metroid, but... When you know where 100% of everything is then there's, like, no sense of 
like exploration. There's no aha moments. There's no aha. Oh, look at that. Oh man. I don't know. Oh man, do you ever watch blind let's players uh, freak out when they can't figure out how to get those guys off? That's a hoot. They'll put up. They'll put like one. They'll put like one bomb down. The dude turns red, and then they can't figure out what to do, and then they freak out. Okay, so this, I'm pretty sure that that's required, you, like, you have to at least know how to do that. Oh, wait, no, you could, never mind, you could just shoot the things out, okay. Well, I did it the hard way, but it was fine, it wasn't hard. Some people actually have a really hard time uh, doing that. I'm pretty sure that in um, Project Base, they made it so you can, like, press, I forget how to do it. See, I, I never did it. There was, like, a button combination you could press, and it would, like, do it automatically for you, sort of. Okay, um... Yeah, I think they did the same thing. Yeah, they... I think they had, like, ad, like advanced wall jumpers, like, in mind when they... Wait, maybe not. I wasn't expecting to make that uh, on <laughs> so quickly. Oh, uh, it just leads to there. That's a shortcut. Okay. Uh, let me just check this wall. I doubt there's anything here, but... Okay, so that's a shortcut. That's for speed strat, people. Also, what was that... What was this yellow thing up here? I wonder if that's... A thing. I should have put a bomb when I was there, because now I gotta make this stupid jump again. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> well, maybe I could at least see if it revealed a thing. Oh, look at that! Oh, shit, man! Your boy! Your boy making the discoveries! Oh, man. I thought I effed that up. Oh, man! Finding secrets, man! Oh, man, it's exciting. Um. Oh, dang. Okay. Oh man, I got excited, but I got C-blocked immediately. Just like in real life. Just like all my first dates. Okay, getting cock-blocked by my own mouth. Okay, so we got a- ooh, save room, woohoo! Let's, uh, just check the rest of this room, then we'll, uh, save it up. Uh, yeah, this episode, like I said, is gonna be a little bit longer. Ooh, I gotta see what's in this room. Okay, just regular, let me check over here. Uh, nothing there. Okay, so we have, uh, we have a direction. We know where we're supposed to go. We got a save room. Oh, man. We got a full Metroid ROM hack ahead of me. Oh, man, I'm super excited. I'm, I'm already liking the way this one looks. Uh, I mean, like, how the game overall looks and feels and plays and the atmospheres are cool. Uh, and the difficulty seems, uh, on point. The wall jumps are on point. I didn't mind that they were different. They just made the game... Uh, differently to they made the wall they made it so you could you couldn't exploit things uh, as much which I understand if you're designing a game you don't want people to be like extra breaking the game I guess um okay oh man I want to see what's down here but uh, yeah pretty much everything about this game uh, seems to be pretty freaking awesome oh man starting not even in a hallway oh man see it's like changing up the formula even a lot uh, even, um, even, even like in this sense, come to an elevator and then you're just immediately in an open room. That's so cool, man. It's such a simple concept, but it's like, the, uh, like Super Metroid didn't do that. So it's just like adding to the differentness, which is freaking amazing, I think. Um, okay, well, I mean, if I go down, I'm just going to want to keep playing. So, <laughs> so that's going to do it for, uh, this first episode. Uh, yeah, let me know if you played this or if you like it or if you don't like it or, um, yeah, I guess we'll have to disagree because I love the shit out of it. Uh, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you folks in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.